welcome to the online lecture series organized by Department of Mechanical Engineering, SND College of Engineering and Business Center, Evla. The subject is Computer Landed Engineering and the today's topic is Polynomial Derivatives of the Shape Functions. Here are the two main topics that we have to cover in this session. First is the polynomial derivative of the three noted triangular element and polynomial derivative of the four noted rectangular element. Before going to this session, we have covered the polynomial derivative of linear bar element with the help of linear polynomial u of x is equal to c1 plus c2x and another is the polynomial derivative for the quadratic bar element where the displacement is given by u of x is equal to c0 plus c1x plus c2x where by putting the boundary conditions of the element we obtain the different shape functions for the the elements. Now here we are obtaining the shape functions for three noted triangular element and four noted rectangular element with the help of polynomial derivatives. The three noted triangular element is shown in the figure in local coordinate system x y. There are three nodes triangular element node 1 2 and 3 each node is associated with two degrees of freedom u and v therefore node 1 has degrees of freedom or displacements in u1 v1 similarly at node 2 the displacements are u2 v2 similarly at node 3 the displacements are u3 v3 the global, global coordinates at nodes are expressed as at node 1 the global coordinate is x1 y1 at node 2 the global coordinate is x2 y2 and at node 3 the global coordinate is x3 y3 similarly the deformations are presented at node 1 is u1 v1 at node 2 is u2 v2 and at node 3 is u3 v3 The polynomial function for three noted element is given by u of x u of x y is equal to c zero plus c one x plus c two y. Let it as equation number one. Equation one shows the polynomial function in three noted two directional element. So u u of x is instead of u of x it is represented by u of x y is equal to c0 c1 x plus c2 y where c0 c1 c2 are constants and x y are the coordinates of any point within the element considering the nodal deformations we can write u1 is equal to c0 plus c1 x1 plus c2 y1 similarly we can write u2 is equal to c0 plus c1 x2 plus c2 y2 and u3 is equal to c0 plus c1 x3 plus c2 y3 let this as equation 2 in matrix form equation 2 can be written as c0 matrix of c0 C1 C2 is equal to inverse of the matrix 1 X1 Y1 1 X2 Y2 1 X3 Y3 into matrix of U1 U2 U3 so it is equation number 3 by solving this equation 3 for U of XY we get u of x y is equal to 
alpha 1 plus beta 1 x plus gamma 1 y divided by 2 times delta into u1 plus in bracket alpha 2 plus beta 2 times x plus gamma 2 times y divided by 2 delta into u2 plus in bracket alpha 3 plus beta 3 times x plus gamma 3 times y divided by 2 delta into u3 in equation number 4 where the alpha 1 is x2 y3 minus x3 y2 beta 1 is equal to y2 minus y3 and gamma 1 is equal to x3 minus x2 similarly alpha 2 is equal to x3 y1 minus x1 y3 beta 2 is equal to y3 minus y1 and gamma 2 is equal to x1 minus x3 Similarly, alpha 3 is equal to x1 y2 minus x2 y1, beta 3 is equal to y1 minus y2, and gamma 3 is equal to x2 minus x1. And 2 delta is equal to determinant of 1 x1 y1, 1 x2 y2, 1 x3 y3, or which is also equal to twice the area of triangle 1, 2, 3. In finite element method, the deformation field is given by u of x y is equal to n1 t1 plus n2 t2 plus n3 t3, where n t n i are the shape functions at respective nodes, while t i are the properties at that respective nodes. So shape functions can be written as gen i times gen i is equal to 1 upon 2 delta in bracket alpha i plus beta i x plus gamma i y where i stands to 1 2 3 etc therefore displacements are given as u of x y is equal to n1 u1 plus n2 u2 plus n3 u3 while u of x y is equal to n1 v1 plus n2 v2 plus n3 v3 in matrix form, you can return as displacement matrix UV is equal to shift function matrix N1, 0, N2, 0, N3, 0, 0, N1, 0, N2, 0, N3 into displacement matrix U1, V1, U2, V2, and U3, V3. Return equation number 7. It shows that the linear variation of unknown field in the elements and the derivatives of such elements such as strains are constant in this element. So these elements are also called as constant strain triangular elements or CST element. In polynomial derivative of four noted rectangular elements. The four noted rectangular element is shown in the figure. Now, in four nodes, one, two, three, four, and distance between node one, two is L length, while two, three is the height H. The coordinates in global and local frame of reference are node one, local x1, y1, while in case of local is zero, zero. The local coordinate system is shown at node one is taken as zero. Node 2, global coordinate is x2, y2, when local coordinate is L0. The node 3, the global coordinate is x3, y3, local coordinate is LH. While 4, global coordinate is x4, y4, local coordinate is 0H. The polynomial function for 4 noded rectangular element is given by u of x y is equal to c0 plus c1x plus c2y plus c3xy let it as equation 1 putting putting local coordinates in equation 1 we will get u1 is equal to c0 u2 is equal to c0 plus c1l u3 is equal to c0 plus c1l plus C2H 
plus C3 LH and U4 is equal to C0 plus C2 H. Solving above equation for C1, C0, C1, C2 and C3, we will get U1 is equal to C0, C1 is equal to U2 minus U1 upon L, C2 is equal to U4 minus U1 upon H and C3 is equal to U3 plus U1 minus U2 minus U4 upon LH. Putting these equations in equation 1, we will get U of XY is equal to in bracket 1 minus x upon l minus y upon h plus x y upon l h into u1 plus x in bracket x by l minus x y upon l h into u2 plus x y upon l h into u3 plus in bracket y upon h minus x y upon l h into u4 therefore the shift function by comparing this u of x y with the shift function equation, we will get the shift functions are and one is equal to 1 minus x by L minus y by H plus x y upon L H and 2 is equal to x upon L minus x y upon L H and 3 is equal to x y upon L H and 4 is equal to y upon H minus x y upon L H. In matrix form, it can be written as displacement functions u is equal to shift matrix as if n1 0 n2 0 n3 0 n4 0 and 0 and 0 and 1 0 and 2 0 and 3 and 0 and 4 into displacement function matrix u1 v1 u2 v2 u3 v3 and u4 v4. And it is equation number 5. This shown that for polynomial derivative, in case of 3 noted, there are u1 v1, u2 v2, and u3 v3. While in case of 4 noted, u1 v1, u2 v2, u3 v3, and u4 v4. The uh, polynomial derivative for uh, polynomial function for 3 noted is u of x, y is equal to c0 plus c1x plus c2 x square plus c2y and uh, polynomial function for 4 node n it is given by c0 plus c1x plus c2y plus c3xy this is about the polynomial derivative of the 3d problem Two, three noded and four noded rectangular elements. Thank you.